we do have some case reports of individuals um, who have appeared to be infected a second time. In those individuals, what we are looking for is what type of an immune response did they have on their first infection, if that was even measured? And then at the time of the second infection, did they have measurable antibodies? And I think that's really important for us to really understand to see if that immune response lasts, because in some individuals, an immune response may decline. But again, we do need to put this into context. You know, out of, out of more than 26 million cases, having some case reports of reinfection tells us that this is possible, but it doesn't tell us what's happening at a population level. We have examples of it. And so we're following this over time and we're working with labs um, to determine looking at that full genome sequence to see if there's a second infection. Um, so we do know that it's impossible, but there are only a few case reports that have been reported to date.